Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle Laris and I have been looking forward to casting this all day and then as soon as I came to cast it I had malware on one of my PCs. My other P this PC wouldn't run StarCraft, so not having a good day. <sighs> anyway, my name is Kyle Laris as I said and I am against Roy in this match. This is a quick PVT for you all that uh, people have been requesting so I thought I'd bring this to you. Um, I was uh, planning on casting another game, I was planning on casting a bit of a fun 3v3, but uh, didn't get, probably won't get the chance to now since it is quite late in Finland, it's coming up to about, um, well it's 9 o'clock, coming up to about 10 o'clock in the night, and I have to be a bit quiet later on in the day. So, yep, this is against Roy, who is a diamond player Terran, and he is throwing down his supply depot at 11, I am getting my pile on at 9, and now boosting out the probes. This game, I we had a bit of banter at the start of the game. Fast Banshee and GG from uh, Roy, who believes that the flight distance is very short on this map, and indeed it is. <laughs> so um, we'll see how that plays out during this match. We were talking about uh, how the um, well, you saw it at the start if you were reading, so it doesn't matter too much. And look, I finally have a little banner thing covering my. Um, what's it called? Replay bar. So now, um, I, I figured it out through virtual dub, so I'm quite happy that I figured that out. Uh, tell me what you think of my little banner thing, and, uh, hey, if you think you can do a better banner, just do a banner and send me, and I'll, I'll try some out. Anyway, Roy is sending in his first probe to have a bit of a scout around my base. Also, I am sending my probe out as well to do some scouting. He's throwing down his barracks at probably about 12 around that. And he's also got this fast gas, and he's going for a tech lab. So we're probably going to see some marauders or ma reapers. We will have to see what happens. A bit of a little probe dance going on around here in the front of my base. And I'm throwing down my cybernetics core at 18. Probably could have thrown it down a little bit earlier, but... I'm not playing too great. Um, yeah, been a long day, so yeah. This probe going into his base now to have a look around. Does see this orbital command morphing in? Does see this refinery and this barracks? And the Reaper is being trained, so we'll see how that goes when it comes out. Um, just throwing down my first simulator now, and hoping to get my warp gates out very soon. He's throwing down more supply depots in order to make this block off quite efficient. Just pumping out the probes and getting a mule there in the mix to get some nice economy going. I'm just pumping out a zealot at the moment, throwing down another pylon and should be getting something soon. Let's see what this probe does. Throwing down a few gateways. Roy is now throwing down a factory and researching concussive shells. I bloody hate concussive shells. This reaper's coming around the back now to do some harass. Picking off that probe, picking off one probe, picking off two probes, three probes. My probe's now going to chase him off. I do not have a stalker out at the moment, that's why I'm sending these probes to chase him off, getting one hit there, two hits, moving these back as soon as they get hit, but that one being very unlucky there and getting taken out, that one also getting taken out, so this reaper is up to five kills now, my stalker coming in and taking him out effectively with this zealot, and he's gone down. These gates now warping in as you can see there, and a tech lab going down on his factions are probably going for some tanks, and he's also building quite a few marauders. They've rallied into my base, but I imagine he'll keep them in his base for now. Throwing down an extra barracks and has that second refinery up. I'm sending out my next probe to go and do a bit of scouting. I um, sent in well, my initial scout. Did see that he was getting marauders, so um, I had a I had a bit of a hunch during this game for positioning this stock down here to make sure he didn't get any more reaper harass. This Marauder doing a bit of scouting, making sure I'm not doing anything too tricky. He's probably checking up here to see if I have a pylon, but I do not. That is actually where I normally build pylons when I'm doing a foregate, so very good by Roy there. Unfortunately, just not today. This probe being taken down by these two Marauders, and I do see this Ghost Academy going down. Putting down a robotics facility, but cancelling the robotics facility, and you'll see why in just a second. And yes, it is an epic wall, Roy. Congratulations. This just got his first siege tank out there. And I am 
warping in, uh, warp gates is halfway done. Throwing this pylon down here, and come on, get on with it. Throwing down a stargate. When I sent the par uh, probe in, um, I saw that he wasn't, he didn't have any marines or anything like that, and I saw that he was building tanks. So I thought the best idea would be to go air, <laughs> short airish distance, and um, he didn't have any air defense. So I thought that this would be the best idea, throwing down the supply depot now to complete this wall, it's a very nice wall, what a lovely wall, anyway, and what else is he doing, let's have a look, throwing down more, getting more tanks, I'm researching siege tech there, I'm just pumping out some stalkers at the moment, and my warp gate, it's as done, but I'm not warping it in, uh, warping it for some reason, ah, there we go, there's the warp, my stargate has now finished and I'm producing a void ray, He lifted that off to letter tanking, I imagine. Oh, and he actually <laughs> has to research the siege tech all over again because of that lift off. He should have lift off his barracks. He's getting a ghost out though now. I imagine he will be EMPing with that. Bringing down the starport, no doubt, to get some medivacs out to scout the high ground and give him a bit of healing. My first void ray is almost complete. Just pumping out the zealots here and getting a few stalkers to make sure that no ground pushes can be as effective as he would want them to be. That's a second ghost out now for him. And I'm producing my second void ray. Sending this probe into scout just to make sure that he does have no has no marines to take out these void rays. Got a few sentries there to make sure I can force field in case he does come up this ramp. Got a twilight council down. I was going to research uh, zealot charge in order to counter any kind of marauders with these zealots. He is scanning here, to see, so he does see that I have a sizable ground army, but at this, at this present time he does not see this, I believe. Nope, he doesn't see this at all, so this will be a nice surprise for him. These two f void rays now moving over to his base. I see this starport, I'm going to be charging up on this starport since I was afraid of any kind of vikings coming out and stuff like that. He sees the void rays and instantly starts producing some marines to counter, breaking these rocks down with his marauders and ghosts and tanks. However, these void rays are doing quite a significant amount of damage in his base, being left completely unchecked. He's got an engineering bay down now, he's probably going to want to bring out some missile turrets. Whilst we're down here, these marauders are bringing these rocks down with these siege tanks and ghosts. But the the two mar marines that he made were instantly killed by these charged void rays. Gotta love charged void rays. He did repair this starport, so he's now just um, bringing out more marines to their deaths. And I was killing off a lot of probes there at that point. He is moving in here with this push, and I'm moving in with my zealots. I do shield those siege tanks. I'm not sure why, but they got shielded anyway. <laughs> I thought it would make them... I don't know. Stupid, stupid. Anyway, this uh, ground force was taken out quite nicely. He did have... he has his SCVs there, and that is game. These void rays clinching me the victory there. They should have had a bit more air defense. If you're Terran, you may as well get a load of marines, you know, to avoid this happening. But yeah, that was a bit of reactive play uh, from me, so I do appreciate what you're watching, and thank you very much for subscribing if you have done. If you haven't, please do subscribe. I'll bring you more games in the future. I was going to bring you another game uh, but tonight, but I'm probably not going to have time, so sorry about that. Anyway, thank you very much, and uh, I shall see you guys next time.